Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 30 January. It's a Wednesday morning. FOMC day should be interesting. Market is very, very, very dovish. So the risk is he's hawkish. If he's hawkish, the risk is both euro and dollar yen will be wobbly. Core short, long term short dollar yen is in play throughout the flock, including including here. Uh, there will be stops above 110, the figure. Uh, so there is some short term money to be made trading around those stops. If we get up there, something to keep in mind. Uh, if he's dovish, that will be great. Dollar yen will continue lower. Uh, but it'll be. It'll be like a jab step lower because if he's double, stocks will go higher, and so we'll have two opposing forces in uh, the dollar yen world. I don't want to get too much into what's going to happen at FOMC because it's 12 hours away, and we all know that 12 hours in foreign exchange is an eternity. So we need to see where things are uh, heading into heading into the evening hours and then we can develop a more cohesive strategy on what to do a couple of things uh, we're looking at here uh, we did get uh, we hit 27s last night in Boone's um, what was the high? 28th high wow. um, same idea we're core short Boone's uh, tradable short so we, we take half the position and trade it on the short side and leave core on. Same thing, quietly core short boons. Uh, we'll probably just pay 07s for those 27s and and, uh, and just move right along. This gets a bit tricky uh, up in this 165.60 area. Uh, and again, the reason we're core short is we're trying to get this average as high as possible and we want to be short boons basically at sort of 10 basis points. Uh, that's kind of our goal. We'll see if that's possible. Uh, but core short boons is still the way. Let's take a look at this dollar rand. It's inching towards this super important key 1355 level. Uh, we talked about this before. Today could easily be that day. We're going to fade this. So if we go through with great momentum, we will be down here in the 20s uh, today, sort of 28 to 35, we'll be buying dollar rand. Uh, if it does what we think it's going to do, which is break through and then reverse back up, we will also uh, start with our long dollar short rand trade. Uh, so something to watch here. So you want to wait and see what happens at 55. You want regular liquidity. Uh, so if this thing goes now in the next 10 minutes, we, we will just leave it, leave it alone. And uh, we'll be taking a look at long dollar rand. Uh, keep an eye on Twitter for the exact timing of all this. Our main uh, focus today will be on oil. We mentioned it yesterday. This is a very important pattern. This is a purely technical play. I have no idea. Uh, you know, the oil market as dysfunctional as it is. I mean, Saudi Arabia leads your market. You know your market's fucked, right? But I don't really care about that. What I do care about is uh, there will be people playing today, up in this 53.95 area, and then again up at 54.15 to 25. My experience just tells me that this is what people will be doing uh, at the morning meetings in London this morning. This chart will be thrown up everywhere and people will start making a story. You know, maybe sanctions on Venezuela or some comment from some Russian oil finance minister. They'll make up some beautiful story why oil is going to go higher. Uh, and the reason professionals will like this is all of this clear air. There's no resistance. The first resistance is 57 bucks. That's 10% from here. So keep an eye on oil today. Uh, we like oil higher. 
We're also core short dollar CAD. Uh, just tiny. Dollar CAD gets more interesting if we can get down through 132.35. But oil is the main focus this morning. Um, let's see what else is on the calendar real quick. You want to be core long oil, you want to add somewhere up through the highs and then add again through 54.28 and as we approach 4.30 Swiss time you have to be careful right oil inventories are happening and if this doesn't go before oil inventories uh, you better have a very good average or you better cut your position down big time because that shit is volatile though that inventory number and you don't want to be sitting with a massive position uh, through that number. Unless your parameters are long term, you know, if you're going to leave a, a $1 stop, uh, more power to you. Uh, we won't be risking a buck on this on the full position size. We'll try and nimbly get long and risk 30 cents from our average. So um, just keep it in mind. Obviously, crude oil inventories, 430 CET. We have some German numbers out today. We have some French numbers out today. Import prices, consumer climate, flash GDP in France. Um, it's at 7.30 in 15 minutes. And also we have ADP out of, ADP and pending home sales out of the U.S. All very secondary numbers. The focus is all on FOMC. Our focus here, as I said, is on oil today. On the FX side, uh, we're core short dollar CAD. We'll be adding dollar CAD, as you can see here, through um, through this here, 132.40. So we're core short. Um, we're going to add through 40. Keep an eye on the oil price and try and uh, make some money before the OFMC uh, in the energy markets. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, wish you a massively profitable day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.